we back, man. It's your boy, I'm about Cole, you know. It's the end. Learn to grow podcast. Um, episode 3. Season 2025. And, uh, hope everybody enjoyed it. Live from Drexel. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Tell me, you know. Very good. Look. I ain't never seen it. Know that. Better poke, poke, beware. Yeah. I'm on the road. See, the problem is, like, uh, as you, as you, uh, mature and get older, the people around you are necessarily going to mature and, uh, be on the same type of time. So, it's like, you have to be a certain way around your business people, and then when you're around, you know, your neighborhood, and around the people you grew up with, you got to turn back into that gorilla, or into that wolf, and who wants to do that? Really. So, um, anybody says something about me, believe it. It's true. Just believe it. As a matter of fact, it's worse. You don't want to hear the real story. Um, I've been through the mud, I've been through the fire, um, had money, lost money, had money again. Lost money again. Um, had money to where I thought I'd be good, set for life. And uh, a year later, found myself without home with a pocket full of money. And uh, it's real. And it's the Learn As You Grow podcast. So if there's ever a time I need anybody to donate. So, um, so what it is that I do, um, it'll be there, um, Cash App, Beats by the Kilo, Venmo, Beats by the Kilo, PayPal, Beats by the Kilo, um, Chime, Beats by the Kilo, um, what else, you know, uh, huh. you go on Facebook page. Corbion and Beast by the Kilo, any one of them. Um, or you just hit me up. And, uh, sometimes words are more important than cash. But I'm in a situation where I really do need cash. And I feel as though my spirits are still up. For a band without home since Monday. Yesterday. Sunday. My father didn't answer my calls yesterday or today. You know how bad that hurts? Really. And he, you know, he's just like, I love you, I care for you, but I, I just can't live with you. And um, I'm not trying to put him out there, you know. But there's a lot of things that stories were told. On my side of the stories were never told. And that hurts. That, um, that the things he would do for people that he barely, really know, he won't do for his own son. taxes two years ago, like, and he knows I'm great with stocks, with money, all the things I was just talking about, like, he knows, uh, you know, going to school, all that, and then my mom got sick, and 
the other day, he said something slick, like, when he got out of the car, like, oh, I don't want you to kill me. And that, like, hurt because everybody refused to come over the house um, and help with my mother. But everybody had an opinion. And if they know anything, my mother walked out of the house into the ambulance. Just thinking about it now, just bringing it back up, that hurts. Because my mom was like, the person that I love the most in this world. And I would never, my mom would do anything for me. I would never, ever, 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 Especially when during that whole year, we only seen you twice, maybe three times. I just gave you your Father's Day present three days ago. sister passing and then my mom passing, you would think, um, since it's only me and my dad left, that we would get closer, but it's that he's listening to people who do drugs and tell him that I do drugs and they and he knows they do drugs. He knows he had money missing several times. Chains missing, phones missing. He knows one time he left the phone on and I listened to the whole conversation while he was drunk off the whiskey, that's what, that's what he does. But when he's drunk off the whiskey, he's in the bar. And in the bar at that time, it just happens to be like, good people, but people that have addiction problems. And he looks out for them and helps them out with rent money. And, uh, I'm like, damn, you do that for somebody you barely even know, and it's a man that ain't even like a sweet girl or nothing. But you won't do that for your son. You tell me that you listen to all his problems, but you wouldn't let me vent to you about mommy once. Every time I mention her, you hung up on me. It hurts that I hope you watch me. But I forgive you. And I love you. I'm just so ready for the strain in our relationship. Have a good night. Go away, you.